Okay, so now I have laid the fabric over. I earned it just a bit because it had like a really defined crease. So I earned it and now I have my needle and I'm going to take this. And from videos that I've watched, it is best to kind of start in the middle and work your way out as far as tufting goes so i'm going to start in the middle and work my way out okay so we got our first button in 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 now but yeah the first one came out good i got it in the holes are big enough i think it's gonna be cute i'm excited i'm excited so yeah So here, got my scissors, wax, so, and our buttons, take a button, and we'll take And we got our crease right there. And you pull as tight as you can. And we flip it over. I'm get back in camera so you guys can see. And we're going to pull this. We're going to take our staple gun and staple it.
Hey guys, this is my progress so far. And it's cute, but it's not turning out exactly how I want it to. Um, it's definitely some, you know, technique to toughen. It's not as easy and as simple as you may think. Just pulling a button through a hole and... Uh, it's it's just not tufted in the way I want it to tuft. Let's just say that. I want the creases to form the diamonds, but it's not working. And it's actually too not tight enough right here. It's bucking. Um looks okay over here. But if I get three, then I'm missing one. It's just that act right. It just need a dose of act right. So what I'm going to do is um, just keep working. I just have those holes down there. Three, six, nine, twelve. I have fifteen done already. So uh, I have ten more to go. I'm actually tired pulling. I took a few out, put a few back in, and it's still not working, so I'm just going to finish it um, as is and keep it moving. So, I'll be back with the finish. All right, here it is, all tufted. And like I was saying earlier, there is a science to it. Um, you can see here at the latter end. That I did I kind of figured it out which is kind of creating a pleats um, yourself and then tufting them as you thread the needle through on this end I kind of just threaded the needle through and kind of just hope that it would create the pleats which it didn't so yeah it's fine. I'm going to leave it as is. I was going to. Okay, so these are the legs that I have for the tufted bench. And this is the paint that I purchased from Lowe's. And it's a high gloss lacquer. I've never used this one before, but I used a lot of Valspar paint from. Oh, not Valspar. I usually use Rust Oleum, but I got this. So these are the legs painted. It's a really high gloss, high, high, high gloss. And it's really pretty and I love it. Um, okay, so while the legs are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the hardware on. And I'm using these um, straight top plates that I got from Lowe's. Um, they were like two dollars and like 48 cents a piece and I'm gonna screw these into the corners Here are our legs. Um, they are all done. Pretty much dry. Dry enough for me. That paint that I use. The Valspar. Um, that paint is. I mean. I'm not saying it's a bad paint. But it's not a good paint. To paint your legs with. I had so many issues. The paint was really runny. And I put about three coats on here. And the paint 
still somehow became translucent almost so I just had to go back in and paint my legs with uh, the white paint that I use for my dining room so yeah just uh, FYI if you're gonna do this project just don't be all extra just get some regular white paint um, from Lowe's or Walmart um, I love the Rustolian brand. I should have went with that, but I didn't. Oh well. Trial and error. So y'all can learn through my mistakes and don't use that paint if you're gonna do this. So um, as you see, I already got the little pieces on, and at the top of your legs, you have these little screws right here. These little, and they just screw right in, like so. You just put it on. And you just screw the leg on. I can get it on there. Yeah. You just screw it on. Like so. So that's one. And we're gonna. Sorry for all the moving with the camera. But I'm trying to do this one handedly. So I did this project so long ago, and I'm just now getting around to these legs. But I'm in no hurry. To do any of the projects that I'm doing in my house. Because it's my house and I move at my pace. So if you hear a little noise in the background, y'all should already know. This leg looks like it's going to lean a little. Hmm. It does look like it's leaning. We'll see once I set it up. I don't know what that's about. And we're just going to screw the last one on. So here is the final bench, bench, bench. My tufted baby is completed. I thought the legs was gonna be um, a little too low, but the little corner things that I put on gave it a little more height. And yeah, that's it. I love the way it turned out. Um, it's not perfect, but it's mine. And, you know, if you guys attempt this, let me know. That is it. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And stay tuned for the next project already in progress.